A grand master or founder is known as Sijo or Soki, and this title declares him to be the head of family in an order style. Therefore, when a student joins a school, they are taught, through both example and instruction, to yield the highest honor, respect, and obedience to the head of their martial clan. When a master decides to teach a disciple, he not only takes on the role of a teacher, but also assumes the role of a parent. Chinese people hold teachers in very high regard. To begin, every student submits unquestionably to their teacher. They must be willing to empty their cup of any previous misconceptions and to accept the new teachings, no matter how disruptive they may be to their personal worldview. This is just one reason why it is important to begin with a good teacher. Submission is often represented symbolically by the simple ceremony of bowing to the teacher. Whether to the instructor in the dojo or to that man's master, it is considered the highest disrespect to fail to obey any given instruction by this man. A failure to comply in the traditional arts, often even in lifestyle, is frowned upon and will hinder the student's progress in training and the promotion of rank. And, as each student surrenders their will in obedience to their sensei or sifu, these masters, in turn, also bow in homage before the Grand Master and images of the style's founder, each one surrendering their will in order to achieve greater skill and inspiration in their art and a higher position on the steps of the pyramid. A spiritual hierarchy in the martial arts, every stone set one upon another, and every rung in the ladder is achieved by exalting self above others. Every student and disciple bowing in reverence and submission to the masters above, and each one of these bowing to the man enthroned upon the mountain summit. Each and every master, regardless of the error or the place, heard the call and attained harmony with heaven and earth. There are many paths leading to the top of Mount Fuji, but there is only one summit. The divine is not something above us. It is in heaven. It is in the earth. It is inside us. The art of peace I practice has room for each of the world's eight million gods, and I cooperate with them all.